Hi, Rachel. Hello, how are you? Great to see you. Thank you, likewise. We should just jump right in, right? <laughs> yeah, Let's unfortunately, talk we didn't have any Tetra Pak here to <laughs> yeah, show seriously. off. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about sort of some of the things that have been happening uh, at Tetra Pak recently. Yep. Uh, some of the, how the growth has been happening. And we're hearing about a whole new platform. Yeah. A whole new platform. Well, the um, so the platform is related to Groundworks, which Groundworks, is one, right. uh, a B two C platform mm -hmm. that we have engaged in, and the idea there is that. Um, well, our mission here is really to protect what's good at Tetra Pak. It's what we're trying to do, protect food. Food safety is really important. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of, um, obviously, products in Tetra Pak. And one of the things that we notice is there's not a lot of buzz around the fact that we're protecting what's good. And as we look at um, the marketplace, there's also a lot of stories and people doing things that are good for the environment, good for the planet. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those stories don't have um, a, a huge platform to talk about. And so we wanted to bring our mission and some of those stories together and make them very real for, for consumers. So, so this is a great brand play to get yourself into conversations that you wouldn't have otherwise been able to do. You can't just say, hey, Tetra Pak, it's packaging. You yeah. can come up and say, you can talk about the environment, you can talk about what you're doing for the community, and who and what kind of content can we expect to see? Yeah, so the content ranges from things about food and uh, uh, nurturing type of, of stories through to um, environmental stories that you're seeing on the, on the web. And things that the content's coming from our side as well, things that we're discovering, but also generated, literally suggested and recommended by um, people out there, consumers who are doing things. So it, it really spans a gamut of, of every topic and every range of, of story about doing good things. So tell us a little bit about um, being, you know, being responsible, Tetra Pak's mm -hmm. responsible. And how are you working with state and local communities to yeah. increase actual recycling? Because just, you know, they, they make a great package that's recyclable doesn't mean someone's going to recycle it, right? Right. So. Tetra Pak's one of the founding members of Carton Council, and a few years ago, it was 2009 when it was founded, um, access to carton recycling in North America, in U.S., was uh, just about 18%. So we've been working with precisely that, um, the recyclers, the uh, sorters, municipalities, and even consumers to generate an increase in um, uh, the access to carton recycling. So we're really proud that, or the Carton Council and Tetra Pak is really proud that just this past quarter we've reached 61% uh, uh, access to carton recycling in the US. And this is really significant, especially for a lot of our brands here and health and wellness brands and brands that are interested in Tetra Pak because it means that now a uh, carton can bear the uh, please recycle label that doesn't have a qualifier saying where recycling facilities exist. Well, that's always felt like something with Tetra Pak to me is when I just talk to people in general, they're not really sure what Tetra Pak right. is, they're not sure if you can recycle it. So getting that message across really does seem incredibly important. Yes, it is. And and I think a lot for, again, a lot of our brands, a lot of consu consumers are really happy to see that and happy for the, you the clarity. Of, you said a lot of your brands are here. Who, who's here and who's doing exciting things with Tetra Pak? What's Tetra Pak excited about? Right. So. Um, a lot of innovation, so there's a lot going on in that front. Um, one of the things that we're really uh, trying to bring together is this notion of end-to-end, -end, uh, because Tetra Pak is actually the largest processing company in the world, uh, food processing. And um, and so when we look at how we bring our our solutions to market, one of the things we're trying to do is, is convey that to consumers. So there's, we have a number of big projects going on with different uh, companies, but we do a lot, again, from, from the beginning of the processing side through to the packaging that you guys are familiar with, um, and then even innovating in, in like the, the uh, environment space. So there's, we're always looking at solutions or bringing better solutions to our customers related to um, the environment, their packaging, uh, engaging with consumers. So you know, print under cap type of um, programming that, that can happen. Um, so beverage so bands are BevNet Live. Who, I mean, which brand should they be checking out before they come to see, to, to see Tetra Pak? If they want to see Tetra Pak in action. Well, I mean, uh, historically you have. Uh, Honest Kids is in, in a Tetra Pak in a carton. You've got Vita Coco is a great example. Um, you've seen, uh, I'm just trying to think of who was here just today, uh, you know, a long time. Or again, in the protein section, we have a ton of brands um, in the dairy alternative space as well. So, Are there categories that are not, in, not utilizing Tetra Pak that you think could benefit from having a Tetra Pak product out there? Yes, there's a... This is a really good question. I think one of the most unexploited uh, categories for us is uh, tea. So ready to drink tea. So as you may or may not know, tea is a low acid product and Tetra Pak's core capability is really protecting low acid products like milk. Um, high acid products don't need that. Well, they, don't, they need it, but they have, uh, let's say, more resistance to stand up in, um, in a, uh, an environment that's not so 
protected. So ready to drink tea is a fantastic opportunity. We can do a great things with them. Um, Phenomenal with stuff, responsible stuff, Tetra Pak. Thank you so much, Rachel Dahl, for being on with My us. My pleasure. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.